Right, Daryl, let's rewind the clock to 2010 at Newbury, Diamond Harry, what a day, and what were your memories of it? Of course, a long time ago now. Um, yeah, it was a fantastic day. I mean, um, obviously, you only had 10 stone. Um, you know, 10 stone? Uh, yeah, 10 stone. How hard is it to get to that? That was the last time I ever done 10 stone, <laughs> so at least it was a, a memorable one. So uh, Was it a real battle getting to 10 stone? Yeah, I remember, um, because I remember Nick told me about, Nick Williams, the trainer, he told me about, um, about six weeks before the race, he said, um, look, if Diamond Harry, he's going to have 10 stone. Obviously, with Denman running in the race, he's going to have 10 stones. So he asked me, um, could I do it? And I said, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll give it a go. So um, I had six weeks of real, um, you know, really, really strict get down. I think from the start of it, I kind of had to lose, you know, eight, nine, nine pounds. Um, and I just kept myself on a real strict diet to get down to to nine stone 10, I remember it was nine stone 10.5 oh. on the day. Um, yeah, and it uh, was. And then I imagine you're saying to yourself, goodness, I hope this is gonna be worthwhile here. Yeah, but like you say, I was, you know, I was here a long time ago now, I was, um, I was keen, he was obviously a very, very good horse, very good hurdler, very good bumper horse. He was a, br uh, he was a very good chaser as a novice. And, um, you know, I knew with him carrying 10 stone, I knew it was gonna be a tough fantasy, but I knew he had to, I knew he had plenty of quality, so. Um, you know, it was, I was always going to do it and, uh, you know, what, what a race horse he was. And just recall that moment. For me, the moment from the race, because all eyes were on Denman and what a superstar he was. But you came there, didn't you? Absolutely swinging. Two out, did you say to Sam Thomas, see you later? Yeah, I can see when they say, um, you know, when they say about when, when Denman eyeballs you, um, it's a frightening experience. And I, and I remember jumping three out and uh, going, to, going to two out, and I literally, and I was upside him. And for whatever, I just had a peep at Denman's eye, you know, his eyes, and it just looked enormous. And I can see he, 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 do, he does bully horses the way he did, because it's very intimidating. And uh, I thought to myself, right, we need to get away from this. Um, and I remember he just, fair play to the horse, he just gave me everything that day. Um, he missed the last, so he's getting a bit tired. And then um, I think it was Burton Port that was coming to me late on, but you know, off 10 stone, um, he really dug deep and he, he, gave, he literally gave me everything that he had that day. It was, it was a monumental performance by the horse. So back to Newbury Friday this weekend. Yeah. So you've got the, what's a really good race actually with Paisley Park in particular in it, but the horse I find so difficult to say. Can you say her name? Let's test you. Indefatigable. <laughs> 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 I knew I was always going to get that wrong. You put me on the spot like that. I can't there. say it either. Let's try. Indefatigable. <laughs> Indefatigable. She was very good at Weatherby, wasn't she? Yeah, she was. Yeah, very tough, very straightforward. Um, she gave me a lovely ride. Obviously, it was the first time I'd ever ridden her um, that day, but I thought she I thought she had a lot of heart. She's a nice little jumper. Um, the ground was no problem to her. And uh, I thought it was a good performance, actually, that day at Weatherby. And uh, I thought um, probably the pace of the race wasn't actually that strong, even though Master Tommy Tokyo went forward. Um, I didn't think the race, the pace of the race was that strong. I think it'll be a little bit different um, this Friday, but um, you know, she's tough, she's honest, she tries and look, that's all you need. Would you expect a different Paisley Park this I time I think around? so, yeah. I think he just, uh, I suppose he was, I don't know, did he look a little bit ring rusty or, or what, but he just, he never really seemed to travel that well for Aiden. I know he, he, he kind of, he hits his flat spots, doesn't he, and stuff like that, but I was always sort of, because Paisley was on my inside and I was always having a, just a little look to see how Paisley was going. And, I never actually felt that Aiden looked very um, no, confident wasn't, on, wasn't. on the horse from, from a long, long way That's out. Right. Like even after the first circuit, I thought he was always, you know, niggling away. You know, I obviously ride against Aiden most days, so I kind of know his, his riding style. But I never thought he looked totally happy with him the whole way around that day. So um, I think it might be a little bit different uh, this week. I think the horse will have sharpened up an awful lot. So it's going to be an intriguing race. I think um, Paul Nolan's horse coming over is going to... You know, it's got a good, good bit of form as well. So I think it's going to be a good race on Friday. Yeah, looking forward to that. Then you head up to Newcastle for the little legend. I mean, so royal must, I mean, top notch, your all time favorite probably, but so royal can't be far behind. No, um, Sko, Sko and top notch, they'd be very, very similar. Um, you know, they're two wonderful horses, but I mean, Sko Real, he's, he's been there from, from a three year old right through my whole career with Simon and Isaac. And, uh, you know, every year, year after year, he just keeps coming out and he just pr keeps producing the goods. Um, I think the horse is in great form this year. He's he's in a really really good place, and uh, I thought his two wins this year were very smooth, very good. Um, obviously, we're taking on Epitan. She beat us last year. She beat us quite comfortably la um, last year. You know, she's 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 a wonderful mare. Um, she's getting weight off. It's, it's going to be very very difficult. But you know, at least I know my horse is in really really good form. He's got he's his really ground. Offered. Yeah, he's got his ground. If he don't get too much rain on Saturday, 
um, you know, we're really excited about it. But the fascinating thing is, is what Epitont are we going to see? If we see the Epitont who ran the race last year, let's face it, you've got absolutely no chance. But if Epitont's like she was towards the second half of the season, you'll be in business. Yeah, exactly. And, um, you know, she broke part. I think she had kissing spines or something, wasn't it? After they've that. operated so on her over the they've summer. They've operated yeah. on that. Like, say, if she comes back to her very, very best, you know, we all know. I think we're all up against giving her weight and stuff that we're up against it. But, you know, if she only if she underperforms by even, you know, 5%, 10%, you know, we're, we're going to be there to capitalise on it. Good luck, Dazzler. Thank you very much.